हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इन साइड फिजिक्स आई एम श्रीनिवास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिराइव लेंस मेकर फार्मूला इन रे ऑप्टिक्स ओके इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन द रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू कर्वड सरफेसेस ओके एंड वी हैव डिराइव ए रिलेशन बिटवीन रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एंड फोकल लेंथ एंड रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर so when we are observing the refraction through a spherical surfaces see the laws of refraction are observed and are applicable at the curved surface and it at each and every point of the surface so with the help of the derivation what we have done in the previous class we derive the lens maker formula for a lens in the previous class we have seen the refraction through a curved surface today we will see the refraction by lenses what is a lens lens is a combination of two curved surfaces so that it is having radius of curvatures on both sides see i have given the diagrams here for a lens and i have taken the left side of the lens and right side of the lens so left curved surface and the right curved surface separately so how we consider here the refraction by a lens suppose we take a convex lens okay now this is the principal axis this is optic center so if you put an object here and the object will be emitting some rays and the rays will be passing through the lens and they will refract and form an image suppose at a distance v this is the image this is the object 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 distance is u so this lens i have considered it here as two separate curved surfaces why i have taken like this means the formula which we have derived for the curved surfaces in the previous class that we will apply to the two surfaces separately and they will be added to get the refraction through a lens that we will see how to do see this is the basic structure of a convex lens and the refraction that is going on when an incident ray is passing through the lens okay after refraction the image is formed at i so this is the basic diagram and each curved surface is separated and I, i we are going to apply to each left and right curved surfaces so what we have derived in the previous class see n1 by object distance plus n2 by image distance is equal to n2 minus n1 by r this is what we have derived in the previous class at refraction at curved surface okay see this is n2 so this can be rewritten like n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r so this is the basic relation for refraction at a curved surface we have already derived in the previous class this is the equation from which we can have because the object distance is negative as per the sign convention we can write the formula like this okay now with the help of this basic relation of refraction at curved surface we apply this to each and every surface first and second surface first we see the cur curved surface abc okay for abc the object is here the incident light ray is touching at this point n1 and it is refracting along this line and it forming an image at i dash okay 
see this is angle of incidence the dotted line is the normal drawn to the curved surface so i1 angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal drawn to the curved surface so the angle of refraction is the angle between the refracted ray and the normal drawn to the curved surface so as per the diagram we are clear that with the incident angle and refracting angle and this is the object distance ob is the object distance the image formed is bi dash the distance is bi dash that is v so as per this rule this formula see the refractive index of first medium to second medium if you consider this air or vacuum n1 refractive index of first medium and the ray is entering into the lens so this is the second medium n2 is the refractive index of the second medium so as per these details from the first diagram we can apply this formula to the first diagram as n1 by ob plus n2 by bi dash is equal to n2 minus n1 by r means see here r is bc1 right bc1 okay this is equation 1 now the same relation we will apply again to the right curved surface the second right side curved surface then we can get see here if you observe some details see the object here the object is formed forming an image here okay this image will be a virtual object to the second surface that is an important point here see the image formed by the first curved surface will be acting like a virtual image to the second surface okay this i dash will be acting as a virtual object to the this curved surface because see after refraction this line will be the object line after refraction the image is formed here at i okay so here for the for the second curved surface the object distance is di dash the image distance is di okay and if you observe the refractive indices of the mediums this left hand side medium is what is lens is will become n2 here the if you observe the lens medium here in the right side it is n2 so for the second surface this becomes n2 and the right hand side will become n1 because the ray is entering from lens to, to the air or vacuum so that from denser to rarer medium so the left hand side will become n2 and the right hand side will become n1 first medium refractive index is n2 second medium refractive index is n1 so with these details we will apply the rule to the second surface now here if you observe n2 why i have written n2 means for n1 for the second surface n1 becomes n2 by object distance means this is the object distance d i dash so d i dash we will write as minus d i dash because the distance d i dash is measured as per the sign convention against the incident light right ray direction because if this is the object virtual object for this curved surface the incident light will be in this direction so the measurement of d i dash d i dash from optic center to i dash will be opposite to the light ray that is why i have taken here minus d i dash plus n2 becomes n1 for the second surface okay image distance what is the image distance here di di is equal to n2 minus n1 by 
R. What is the radius curvature of second surface R2? Or we can write DC2. DC2. These are the two relations we have got by applying the relation of refraction at the curved surface for both the surfaces. Remember these two surfaces are the combination to make a convex lens. We are applying the rule to these surfaces individually. Okay. Now we combine these two relations so that we add these two relations to form a relation for the refraction at a lens. Okay. Now adding 1 and 2, adding relation 1 and relation 2. See, if you observe these two relations, B i dash, here you, you observe B i dash, D i dash. B i dash and D i dash are equal. Why? Because, see, as the aperture of the lens, that means the lateral thickness of the lens is so small that B and D, the points B and D can be considered as a same point, as a same single point. So, here we can say B i dash is equal to D i dash. Okay. If B i dash, if B i dash is equal to D i dash, right, these two terms will be getting cancelled. See, these two terms will get cancelled because B i dash is equal D i dash and there is a plus sign and there is a minus sign. So, while adding these two equations, this term and this term will be cancelled and we can add the remaining terms. Okay. What happens if you add the remaining terms n1 by ob plus n1 by di is equal to these two terms must be also added so that it will become Okay. While adding, I have taken the common factor n2 minus n1 and here 1 upon bc1 plus 1 upon dc2. Okay. See, OB is the object distance, di is the image distance when we have taken the combination and finally, this is the relation for a lens. So, if you observe here, if OB is at infinity that means object is at infinity that means OB is equal to infinity. So, what happens to the image? Image will form at the focal length of the lens. Okay. Image will form at the focal length. Then these two terms we can write if OB is equal to in infinity di becomes f right so in the reverse if the object is at focal length the image will form at infinity like that if the image that means ob if the object is at infinity so that the parallel rays are coming and uh, passing through the lens the image obviously will be formed at focal length as per the loss of refraction okay so here n1 if you apply these two ob is equal to infinity di is equal to f n1 by ob becomes 0 because n1 by infinity anything by infinity is equal to 0 plus n1 by di di will become f in this case when ob is at infinity n1 by di becomes f focal length Okay, so here n2 minus n1. So here 1 by 
BC1 plus 1 by DC2. Okay. So, here 0 plus N1 by F. If I take N1 to the right side, right, if I take N1 to the right side, this equation will become just a moment. This equation will become 1 by F is equal to N2 by N1 minus 1 into what is BC1? BC1 R1 radius of curvature of the first surface R1 plus what is DC2? DC2, this is R2, radius of curvature of the right surface, second surface. So, R2 as per sign convention, this is R2 is negative. See, R2 or we can write DC2 is equal to minus R2 because it is measured from the optic center and the distance is measured against the opposite to the incident right ray direction. That is why it is negative as per the sign convention. So, we put here in place of DC2 we put minus R2. Okay. So, here see this becomes N2 by N1 minus 1 and this equation finally becomes 1 by F is equal to N21. We can write N21 minus 1. Right? N2 by N1 can be written as N21 minus 1 and 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Okay. So, from this I have written the equation. So, this is called lens maker formula. This is called lens maker's formula. Why this is called lens maker's formula is, see the lens manufacturers. So, they will decide the focal length and according to that, if you require a, fo a lens of particular focal length, suppose 100 centimeters focal length lens is required. So, that the radius of curvatures can be adjusted while manufacturing the lenses. So, according to R1 and R2, the focal length requirement can be get while getting the lens of a particular focal length. So, why that, that is why this is called lens maker formula. Okay. So, with this theory and we can also have some other relation which is called lens formula. Before that, see this lens maker formula can be applied to concave lenses also. What happens at concave lenses? See here R2 is negative for convex lens. Now R1 becomes negative for concave lens. R2 is positive for a concave lens. Here for convex R1 is positive, R2 is negative. For concave lens R1 becomes negative, R2 becomes positive. That is the difference. So, we can apply this lens maker formula to the concave lenses also. Okay. Now, we will derive lens formula. So, with this theory we will take two relations here. Okay. So, if you observe this one, <coughs> see N1 by OB, N1 by DI is equal to N2, N minus, this is the relation and <coughs> here N1 by F is equal to, see, this one and this one. From these two relations, if you observe, we can equate the right hand side is equal. So, we can equate the left hand sides of these two 
equations. So what happens if we equate these left hand sides we will see and thereby we are going to derive the lens formula by equating the left hand sides of these two because the right hand part is equal so that we can equate the left hand sides n1 by ob plus n1 by di is equal to n1 by f okay n1 by f so if you observe n1 can be cancelled on both sides okay n1 can be cancelled on both sides so we can write plus 1 by di is equal to 1 by f okay so ob is the object distance if you observe ob here as per sign convention this is negative so the object distance is measured from the optic center to object point so the distance here u this is minus u okay so object distance is minus u plus 1 by di image distance di as per sign convention it is measured from optic center to i it is positive v is equal to 1 by f so this implies 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f so this is the lens formula so this is lens maker formula this is lens formula okay so this is how we can develop a theory and thereby we derive the lens maker formula and the lens formula by using the relation we have taken from the refraction at curved surface okay so that is for now and in the next classes we will check some other theories in ray optics okay thank you